Jimmy, only one place to start. It's 11 games unbeaten in the Barclays Under-21 Premier League. Just how good an achievement is that? Uh, fantastic. Um, I think the, the group come together back in the last year and obviously got those those five games unbeaten together. Um, and I think it's you know it's put us in a, in a in a good place in terms of building that team cohesion and that togetherness and and that winning mentality. So we, we take that into into every training session um, and, and every game. So not only is it a good achievement in terms of league positioning and you know and have that unbeaten record within the league, it also makes training a little bit easier and and creates a, a better environment on a day to day basis. Just how impressed have you been with the group? Because they're quite a young group, aren't they, for under twenty one football? Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, I think I worked it the other day. I think our average age is about seventeen point six years, um, which, when, when you look at it, it is very young. The under twenty one league is is young, um, but we've we've only really got a, a strong cohort of six players that are that are currently fit, that are at the age and not out on loan or in the building um, of of under eighteen and upwards. So we rely heavily on on the under eighteen stepping in and, and making the numbers up. What do you put the unbeaten run down to? Um, like I said, I think we've got we've got players with lots of potential. There's a lot of talent in there, and we've probably probably got uh, more within the final third and, and more of a threat within the final third than we than we did have last season. Um, and and, it, and in past seasons gone by. So um, as I said, I think the, the five games shaped shaped this season up the back end of last last year with playing together, being around each other, forming that team cohesion, that that bond together, um, and they just seem to be in a in a really really good place. And like I said in the, in, the, in the earlier question that. You know, training training is as an added spice, and the environment is a is a is a more pleasant environment because the they've got that ability to to, to win games on a, on a on a match day and, and perform very very well. So, I think it's down to a, to a combination of things. There's been some notable victories as well, hasn't there? Villa, Arsenal, Swansea, West Ham, just to name a few. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, I think the the best one for me was the Villa game. Um, the other 21 league has had a, a lot of bad press on on the on the league not being as competitive as it as it could be and. Maybe at times the intensity lacking, um, but the, the Villa game had that. You add in that it's a, a local derby, and you know the, the spice of of the lads playing against each other in the schoolboy program and, and knowing what they're up against. Villa put three seniors in as well, um, so that probably was that was the best performance for me because the game had an edge. It was competitive. Um, it was played at a really good intensity, and I think with and without the ball was probably our, our best performance of, of the season to date. Under-21 football, it's about results and development, isn't it? Do you think the boys have struck the right balance? I think so, yeah. I think from, from my role, I'm, I'm judged on players um, going from, from this age group into, into the first team squad. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's ultimately my, my role and my job. Um, but also educating that winning mentality and that, that desire to win and, and desire to, to compete and game manage. Um, and they have got the balance right. So we've spoke before and you know the, the first game at Swansea and the next game here on this pitch here against West Ham, we didn't perform well, um, so with a with a, a negative performance or a performance that's not a West Bromwich Albion type performance, um, us as a coaching staff we we come away from the game displeased. Although although we won both those games, so it is that fine balance. And, and I think I think that the Villa game was a, was a coming together on, on performing the way that we want to with and without the ball, and and obviously getting a getting a deserved win late on. So um, the balance hasn't been ideal with with all the games. Um, and it's a difficult balance, balance for strike. And like I said, I think, I think the Villa game, we nailed it. There were five under-21 lads on the bench in the Cup game at Norwich recently. And one of those lads, Jonathan Leeko, actually came on and made his debut. Is that a sign of where the under-21 group are at at the moment? I think so, yeah. I think um, if, you, if you go back to pre-season and, and, the, and the six boys going across to Austria with the first team and then two, two stayed and travelled on with, with, the, with the squad to America, um, I, th I think this... Uh, it's good ben benchmarking for them to, to know what the standards like, and also uh, obviously great opportunities on, on both those trips and those tours to get in front of the first team staff. I mean, we're fortunate as a 21 group we go in with a, with the first team on, a, on quite a regular basis. Um, you know, so the, the first team staff are aware of the talent that we have and the players that we've got coming through. And you know, and credit to credit to Tony and, and, and the staff that they threw those boys in and, and took those boys and trusted those boys. Most importantly, to, to, to go to Norwich. Um, with Jonathan getting on, it's, it's a great personal achievement for Jonathan, but also great for us as an academy. You know, it obviously, it bodes well to, to, the, to the talent we've got within the group and in the system, and also shows that there is a you know a, a continual pathway through. So if you look at what we've produced over the last last three or four years, with you know even your likes of Chris Wood before that, and Sider Berahino, George Thorne, Izzy Brown, you know, it just just continues. Liam O'Neill, it continues that that pathway from from under 21 football and academy football into into first team. Another positive as well is that you've got three lads out on loan at Kidderminster, Alex Palmer, Tavon Campbell and Andre Wright. 
again that's another sign of just how well the under 21 group are doing and that is only beneficial for their development as well isn't it yeah um well, as i said about the, the 21 league sometimes doesn't doesn't pose enough um enough stimulus for for all of your players i'm not saying it, i'm not saying it's a it's it's not a vehicle for all players because it's, it still is a is a good league and you know there are some quality games in there but you know obviously the, the to to recreate the the importance of three three points and you know and to have people's livelihoods online and the crowd and the atmosphere it's a you know it, it, it's great for those players involved and you know and, a, and what we look at as a, as a possible stepping stone to, to bridge that gap from 21 football into, into first team football so for those three boys that they're all gaining very very different experience um, but most definitely valuable experience you know so they've they'll experience the highs and the lows of being in the team and being out of team being in a squad and being out of squad and um, you know, Kidderminster, uh, uh, bottom of the bottom of the nation, nas the national league, and um, you know, so that bodes a, a different a different challenge and, and task to the boys, most definitely. But all good experience. And finally, Jim, what are the aims for the season for the under 21s this year? Well, because we're in the league and we're, and we're in tier two, it's, it's obviously to gain promotion. Um, we missed out on that by four points last year. Um, so you know, we we, we sat the sat the boys down at the start of the season and and spoke to them about their career pathways and and how it looks and how it differs and you know. Uh, Certainly, the older boys within my age group, so those under 19 or the 20s, most definitely at some stage would like them to go out and, and experience some some loan experience. Um, but as a group, when we work together as a group, whether we're an, an, an old under 21 team or, or a young under 18 team, we want to try and win games and you know and, and do it in the right manner. So we've set the task again for the for the team to to, to try and gain promotion and um, probably a more realistic challenge is to we look we look at taking two points per game and. You know, if we can we can do that over the course of the season, we think we'll be right up there or, or there and about. And it's a different format this season where the only the top team goes up and, and the next four compete in the playoffs. So um, ideally via automatic promotion, but if not, to, to be up there and make sure we have a, a possibility of challenging the playoffs to, to gain promotion.